Hello, my friends. I am here with Ben Nash, a software developer and AI artist. Ben has been crazy active since quite a few months in the world of AI art and has built a massive audience on Twitter due to his regular postings full of creativity and ingenuity. I was blessed enough to find that Ben got really active on newer frames, where he created dozens of full-length music videos for himself and for several other musicians. One of which was a series of videos that he did for the electronic music producer Devnal. <laughs> Ben, how's it going? I'm good. Great. Nice to see you. How are you? Nice to see you. I'm very well. Thanks. Yeah. So Ben, maybe you can give us a small introduction of yourself. Who are you? How did you end up here? What's going on? Yeah. Uh, well, um, I went to university back in the 90s. And back then, um, I was studying industrial design, um, product design for real products. And I also was doing computer science, did about three years of that. And then um, But my specialty in our, our design school was called interactive media back in the day. And um, I got into After Effects and 3D modeling and animations back then, but didn't really do much with that in my career up until uh, last year with AI art. I, uh, just about a year ago, I decided I'm going to start making animations and videos for uh, my art. And it's been nonstop. I, I, I gave myself a challenge back in October of 2022. I'm going to do 30 days straight, just make one animation a day. And I thought that was an impossibility. I had no idea oh. I could do it. And I just <laughs> actually stopped. I'm, you know, I'm up to 60 to 90 minutes of art a week or video a week. Wow. So it, it's crazy. It's definitely become my passion and what I enjoy the most. So you started in October last year. Yeah, well, my first animation, uh, you know, I started out uh, probably in January, February, March in just AI art in general with um, a, a, gener a text image generator called Night Cafe. And then, um, you know, I can't remember when Mid Journey came out. I think it was last summer. And, you know, that that definitely just you know, changed my life, too. It was a uh, game changer with that app. And then... Um, Yeah, animations through the fall, but uh, back last fall and winter, I was doing more PowerPoint slide type animations, which just, you know, one image, one image, one image um, for a few seconds. Um, but that also, by doing animations, I realized, oh, um, audio is really the unsung hero of video. You know, without audio, your video is nothing pretty much. Yeah. And, And I, I recommend audio for all videos that are longer than five seconds. You know, if you're doing a five second clip on Twitter, you know, put some audio on there, some music. It just enhances it so much. And then fast forward to when was it? April, May when you came out with Neural Frames? Yeah, April, end of April. Yeah. That was such a game changer. You know, there's no such software out there. I'm trying to do similar things in After Effects and DaVinci Resolve and... Um, Of course, uh, in AI with the forum, and it was just too hard and impossible. And and you seem to touch upon all the, the right things that uh, would help. So initially, I was doing all my uh, tracks at you know round numbers, like 120 BPM and things like that, that I could divide by three and four and two and six. And, and I was using that for composing uh, visuals to audio. Um, But when you added the the audio layer to or to the timeline in neural frames, that that just changed everything again, and um, the, the modulation attached to the those uh, this the parts of the music is amazing. So it's been a really fun app. I, I try to get into neural frames almost every day. You made the music videos for this uh, producer called Devna, right? How did this come about? Um, well, to clarify, there are two different devnulls in the world, um, both making similar music. Um, 
the one I'm working with is in Brazil. And I actually, how we met was I, I put out a call, an open call to the world or more of a challenge. You know, if you're a musician and you've recorded tons of music and it's just sitting on your hard drive somewhere and you're not doing anything with it, put it out there or work with an AI artist that needs music. And, and sure enough, I got, you know, three or four people reached out to me that day. I said, I, I don't know how to make video, I, I, but I would love for you to help me. And uh, one of those was a guy named Devnall down in uh, Sao Paulo, Brazil. And um, he, he was so shy about his music and he was, you know, humble and he put it up on his own website. Um, he's also a developer and um, he sent me this private link to about 20 tracks. And the, his music blew me away. You know, it's it's just next level, you know, electronic music that's just, uh, he has a wide range to a lot of jazzy stuff, a lot of almost even some classical music parts into a lot of his tracks. But um, so I'm going to do all 22 tracks, I think it is actually. And so far I'm up to 12 and I did those in about what two weeks i believe and you yeah know, you you pushed out you put out one every day basically it was yeah, crazy it was, man but uh, that was again i think right when you released the S sdxl part of um, the model for neural frames and that blew me away too it's the quality the textures the the colors the the model seems to go into some really trippy visuals for music um i love the patterns that emerge and it and it's honestly smart. It's very smart. It it you know responds well to the prompts in a creepy way. It's 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 awesome. So often I'll start with the external image made in something like Mid Journey, um, but I, I'm leaning towards not anymore. I like to use the text to image uh, prompting within neural frames. It gives it honestly a more consistent. Uh, image to start off with. Um, often if I start with an image from a different model, you know, or it'll morph instantly into the neural frames model I'm using. So that usually, sometimes I even cut off the opening second, but these days um, I love the text to image generation within neural frames and the pent my prompt is very helpful. But one of the parts I'm really proud of in particular is this giant zoom that I did here. And yeah. it's just so dramatic. And this is where, we'll talk later about that, but um, we just show that. to show or talk about real quick are um so in the devonall series um th there was there started to emerge a, a story there's no lyrics so i had to truly interpret um his his meaning of the songs and i i would ask him for a few um you know descriptions of the song what's this song about and he often replied, I'd love to just have you start from fresh with no input from me as you know, your interpretation, um, which was, and I, I love that creative freedom too, but um, some songs of his were very personal to him and, and he did offer up a, a, a sentence or even just a couple words uh, sometimes, this song is about this. And so, um, yeah, this one's called Broken Rhythm and um, it, it was more about all of his songs have to do a little bit with journey through life. So um, in all the videos so far, I, in, I insert little tiny people, little um, black figures. And um, so that that's what shows up again here at the end um, as they journey through this broken rhythm. Yeah. I love this, especially this one. Yeah, this isometric view of the people. It's yeah, really cool. It, and yeah. the, again, the textures here are just insane. Yeah. With that. And 
So I get emotional just watching these. I, I've definitely teared up watching several of them. Wow. But yeah, let's uh, jump over to... AI art, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. yeah, that's really great. Really great. What I love about it is, you know, I, I thought kind of, I know what can be accomplished with newer frames. Somehow, like the videos I make have a certain aesthetics to it. But then what I, what I really understood now when you made these uh, one or two months ago, when was it? I don't know. Um, is wow, this has a completely different aesthetics than anything I ever created. So it's, and, and this is amazing because it's just, in the end, it's just prompts, right? And some settings. Mm -hmm. But somehow you did something completely different than I ever could have done. I love this. It's a really Ben Nash aesthetic somehow. Yeah, I, it's amazing that that still exists. You know, every artist has their own style, whether they believe it or not. Most people don't yeah. think they have a style, but everybody does, obviously. I mean, even just looking at someone's Instagram feed and page, you can tell even someone using the same phone beside someone else using the same phone, even their Instagram feed has a, a complete aesthetic look to it, a, a common feel. And, and that's across the board for everybody, um, not only artists, but just anyone who captures content and yeah that still blows me away that I, I see other you know people using neural frames and, and i don't know how they got it to look like that <laughs> you know? yeah 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 exactly yeah yeah so, so what how what what are you doing here what's happening in neural frames here i see a lot of boxes a lot of modulation a lot of prompts yep so um let's uh, zoom out all the way to see the whole song here um so this is about a three minute length uh, view of the song. You know, down here we imported our musical track and um, I love the fact that you can see the, the waveforms down here to understand the song better. So that's where yeah. you know, people who, have, who are visual artists who think they cannot make music, that's where um, software comes in. Software can make music a visual, um, you can have a visual view of it and arrange things, you know, compose, have make a composition visually. And so with that, all that new, in the past year of using AI art tools, visual tools, um, and then composing them in video, I, you know, now when I open up a a Ableton Live or, or GarageBand, um, it's, I'm now using a new set of skills that I've learned from visual tools I can use um, in audio. So it's really helpful to look at the waveform of any uh, track. You can learn a lot how a song is composed. So yeah, that's what's down here. Um, I uh, can't remember how originally I generated these prompts, but I often use ChatGPT to help generate prompts. Um, again, I love the Neural Frames Pimp My Prompt here. It's, it's really good. Um, so can't remember what I started with, but here's, um, I'll just read this out. A paper artwork inspired by a futuristic world in the style of orange and black, detailed scientific subjects, luminous spheres, circuitry, rustic futurism, scattered composition, and industrial design. I don't even maybe know. Maybe you can go back to the, maybe can you go back to the first frame once? Sure just to, can, yeah, so we can look to, at that. To see this, yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. that. Cool. You yeah. Paper artwork. Um, futuristic yeah. world, orange and black, obviously. Detailed scientific subjects. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they kind of are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, in the timeline, we have uh, all the text prompts, and you know, I change them frequently based on the music and um, what I want to talk about. Sometimes I, you know, duplicate this text prompt will be the same here and the same here and the same here. Some, right. for example, this might only be five or six different text prompts. And that's good, especially, you know, with neural frames, it's a continuous video. So there's no jump cuts. You know, I could, and I have edited some neural frames videos after the fact um, in a video editor and, and spliced different pieces together. But generally, I really like the single continuous flow from beginning to end. However, you do want to change um, scenes sometimes. So obviously that's what happens here. And I really have learned to um, use this transition and putting in a, some kind of strength, a high strength. If I really want to change the scene fast, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll 
pick uh well here four there you go you can yeah. see right here that's a pretty high one um yeah. for this uh modulation piece so so um, anything in particular that you can recommend for coming up with prompts i mean do you are you just rendering let's say the first box and then you think ah here now it would be cool to have cubes instead of spheres or something like that or how, how can i imagine you coming up with the next prompt so when a song has lyrics to it, that often makes the job much easier because you you know if you're trying to mimic what the the vocals are about, you know obviously your text prompt could could be about um, what they're talking about. Um, one helpful hint there is uh, I did a video for a, kind of a, a reggae fun happy song, and the main lyric was a. Uh, something like don't knock me down, which he was trying to say he's a happy person that he's at the top and he, you know, he's gonna not let the friction get to him. But often in, in any AI tool, if you use the words, you know, knock me down, you're gonna get more of a negative um, right. visual. So I often, if again, if I'm working with lyrics, I'll, I'll often negate the words to actually fit the meaning of what the song is after. So instead of knock me down, I said, you know, something along the lines of I'll stay, you know, at the top or I'm, I'm confident, you know, words like that instead of um, that. But in this case, um, the prompts are timed with dramatic changes in the song. So if from that beginning of this song, there's a long lead up here. Um, you can see in the bottom track and then a, a hint, boom and then another hint, boom, and then a ramp up to this part of the song. So that's what we're doing here too. This, this is the long intro, a change, a change, and then boom, we're into this new part of the song. Right. That's, I usually, you know, I'm, I, I never know going into a song um, beyond the opening first few seconds what I'm gonna do until um, I'm already started. So while this is rendering, um, you know, while it's rendering, you can hit play, go back, and hit stop. Um, and you know, if, if the timeline goes past the uh, the current last rendered image, that's when I start to you know I'm plan ahead and and I start adding in my um, modulation parts. So one thing that maybe I do different, which um, we talked before about was I like to layer a lot of these uh, modulation settings on top of each other. Um, in, in particular, this one doesn't look like I have many layered, but you know you can add a new one, come in top of the screen. <laughs> you, you basically hacked you hacked newer frames basically. Yeah, well that's an essential feature to me now. It really yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's um, this I'm one. I'm gonna edit look, also. Yeah. Yeah. So this one doesn't look like it has much overlapping parts, um, modulations, but I'll often have a, a continuous strength um, um, modulation target, which changing the, the whole, you know, image to image to image, you know, with, again, I'll, that's usually the first thing I'll lay down is um, a part that, uh, that is just for the strength. And, just um, the strength on, on, on what type of source? Here you have um, it on the base. It always depends. So yes, okay. I, it it I usually like it to be something more flat. Uh, yeah, these are uh, all dramatic. Let's see. Yeah, may, this one would work. You know, it's 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 uh -huh. somewhat consistent. Um, and so that's usually something I'll lay down first, and then I'll come back on top and add little bumps and changes and you know right here this ramp up for example that would make a well let's look at the actual zoom part i was talking about um yeah you have these very cool zoom zoom modulations every now and then on the bass there's a bass and then it's really cool oh that's the best that's yeah the, <laughs> <I love it. laughs> yeah the, this song is yeah. a nice fuzzy bass um so right here. Yeah, here maybe, yeah? There you have some zoom in on, on something. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, here's the zoom. So that, let's look at that. That's, that's this part right here. Um, bass, zoom, amplitude 10. Ah, yeah, high amplitude here. Okay, okay, yeah, higher exactly. than I ever would do. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. great. And, and honestly, yeah, your, your, your tutorial videos would use you know, amplitudes of, you know, 0.0 or 0.3. Yeah, it's too small for, for Zoom. <laughs> yeah, I, I've been pumping them up to 10, 20, 40. And yeah. it, it doesn't always work. It is, you know, depends yeah. on the music and the scene. And one thing to remember, too, is, um, is the actual source. And I love that you put this effective Zoom value at this position. That's, that's really helpful because a 10 for one uh, part audio part is not the same as a, the 10 for another part. It depends on how yeah. it's, a, it's, this is a multiplier, you know, as you say, amplitude here. So, um, it's, uh, you know, a 10 is not always a 10. It's, it's based exactly. on this yeah. yeah. And I love yeah. that. And, and one of my favorite features regarding all that is you can be a little sloppy in your arrangements, um, because the, it's not a hundred percent based on the, where this starts and begin. It's, 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 affected by the audio so um yeah. it's you it's not going to be dramatic until the the audio gets dramatic so that's been really helpful um so yeah this this track does jump back and forth between about five or six different scenes mm -hmm. and um i love the fact that i can jump back and forth you know like these orange balls appear often how often do you go back after you rendered something? Um, some videos I never do. I would say maybe four out of five videos. It's it's almost perfect. Oh, really? What I want right away. But uh, you're the man of the prompting, man. <laughs> yeah. awesome. Well, occasionally I'll get a song that just does not work, and it, it's right. uh, I. I'm still learning, you know, what are the, what is, what, what causes that? And it's, you know, part prompt, uh, part, um, well, where the image was last, um, if there's not enough, uh, strength of change from image to image, you know, it, it, it might start fading to all black. Um, last night I yeah. worked a video that, that was, had some issues with that. It, it, it kept wanting to go to black. And duty, well, with you had some um, helpful uh, hints about that, about you know use trippy and s instead of smooth. Yeah. So that that definitely helps too. Um, but again, that's it's not an issue of the software. It's more just a combination of the the, the content and the audio and the the text prompts. So. Yeah, usually when it goes, yeah, there's a feedback loop somehow, then it then turns black, and usually a high strength helps to get out of there. Yeah, but yep. it's a Which bit, it's a bit annoying. I, yeah. I enjoy that challenge, though. That's, yeah. uh, in fact, I, I the that left a, a good aesthetic in the video I made last night. It, it was a, again, the content really dictated a lot of that, and it it was uh, it was perfect for the video that I left in a, a minimal amount of uh, bright pixels and a lot of dark was really helpful for this song so awesome you, you never know what you're going to get starting and that's one of the beautiful parts about using neural frames is it's um it's a trip <laughs> you know it's, it's, <laughs> it's amazing very cool so ben what's your what's your goal with all this if i may ask you know ai art is uh consuming more and more of my time every day. And I love that. It's, it's definitely my passion and hobby and, and what I enjoy the most out of my, out of my life. Um, my career is still, uh, most of my income comes from web development and design. So, but I would love to transition completely away from that, uh, where I'm only writing my own website code. But, uh, the, the goal is to, I would love to make AI music videos um, for bands and musicians. And I've had several reach out to me um, working on with three different artists right now, making some videos. One I can't wait to share, but it, I have to wait till the album comes out in a month or two. So it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. I've definitely made a name for myself in this space and I appreciate yeah. everybody's support. It's just been tremendously 
a, a life changer. So I, I'm, I'm going to go for it, you know, and um, I'm updating my personal website to reflect that all, that too, but I also have a dedicated website I'm working on for AI, AI uh, music videos, um, and in oh, particular, cool. you know, using neur neural frames. So. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, I think, man, uh, musicians would be happy to get music videos from you. So if any musician is watching this, then... You know where to find Ben. Ben, where pick awesome. Thank you so much, Ben. I, I would really encourage people to to follow you on on X.com. I mean, you're posting out. You're 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 so active there. It's absolutely mind blowing. Getting a daily dose of creativity from. I'm getting my daily dose of creativity uh, from you. It's I really enjoy it. Oh, I appreciate that. Yeah, uh, you know, X has been a tremendous. Uh, um, helpful tool. I tell people that, you know, forget, you know, all the social networks have their time and place, but um, really where we are in the history of them, X is the go-to place for promoting oneself and growing a network. Um, a lot of people think there's you know, other business related um, social media platforms like LinkedIn, but really if you want to grow your network, um, treat X like you might think you would treat LinkedIn and right. will grow so much more faster and farther there. However, um, yeah, so my uh, handle on most social media platforms is Ben Nash, so x.com slash Ben Nash, Instagram, Ben Nash, Facebook, Instagram. I mean, Facebook is also Ben Nash. Um, ben Nash.com. Um, my LinkedIn is a little different. And then, um, yeah, I'm uh, pretty active on all those, but X is my focus. All right, Ben. Awesome. Thank you so much for coming on and yeah. all the best. Um, thank you so much. I'm sure we, I'm sure we keep in touch and uh, yeah. Well, thank you so much for, yeah. Thanks for creating this wonderful, uh, application. It's, it's, it's a game changer, life changer. Thank you. Wow. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Um, and happy rendering. <laughs>